in our first episode of Arubisu, you saw that the VR38 engine had been installed and some major fabrication work had been done. The next step was to work out how to connect that engine to the wheels. We decided to go for a conventional GTR drivetrain layout with a rear-wheel drive style gearbox and a transfer case on the back rather than try and adapt a dual-clutch transaxle from an R35. We would require a custom bell housing and clutch to suit a VR38. Luckily, we chose Albin's performance transmissions as they can also custom make bell housings, crown and pinion wheels and drive shafts, perfect for our project. We took a dummy engine down to Albin's in Ballarat and we thought it would take a tour while we were there. The company was originally started by a gentleman by the name of Ivan Albans. He had a, an interest in uh, off-road racing and believe it or not started off with a dyno. He had one of the first dynos in Australia. Um, he got heavily involved in off-road, grew the business. That was back in 1976. There's three of us involved in the company now, myself, Steve Nicholson, Steve McDonald, who spent a lot of time in V8 supercars. Look, we're growing the business. We're heavily involved in the V8 supercar, trying to involve some military work and things like that. We're still heavily involved in, in the bread and butter product that we like to make, which is the V-Dub. Um, off-road racing, very heavily involved with the off-road racing scene here and in America, all around the world. We're building a transmission for Robbie Gordon in America. It's cooked for these um, Gordini transmission. It's a, it's a trophy truck, basically. Very heavily involved in what we do and done a lot of prototype work for, for Robbie. Pre-GFC in America, we were 90% we export through the American network. We had a good deal of network set up there, but the GFC really knocked that around. We had to reinvent ourselves and uh, part of that was the, the contract to supply the, the V8 supercar transmission. Now that transmission we've been able to repackage, put it into other markets and it's really opened the door in the, the time attack, the drifting, you know, there's all sorts of different markets we can, we can repackage that, that universal product and it's been really good for us. Look, some of the very important features with the ST6 range, we've got the internal oil system, um, that's very important. Um, we have the, the drop gears, depending on the transmission layout, it can be either at the front behind the bell housing or in the rear, like a very large drop gear like a, a trophy truck style application. Now that allows us to tailor the, the ratios for different tracks. Customers don't have to go and buy another whole set of ratios or another transmission. We simply change a pair of drop gears. Very, very efficient for, for multiple applications. It's identical. What we've managed to do is we've taken the internals from the V8 supercar transmission, everything we've learnt there, all the bugs we've ironed out, it's a great product now. We've been able to repackage that, new housings, we remove the diff and we, we build these straight through boxes for the R32, 2JZ and they've been working fantastic, great feedback. It's very universal what we can do at the moment, we're doing a lot of custom installs so a customer will drop off, a, off an engine we haven't done before, we'll, we'll reverse engineer the rear of that engine, we'll adapt it to the transmission through a bell housing system. Uh, the, back, the back of the trans we can use a yoke or a drive flange as such, so very, very universal. In your application in this case, it's um, as simple as you, you dropped an engine off obviously. Um, we're going to reverse engineer the rear of that engine. So step one will be to get the bell housing, adapt the existing transmission from the, from the R32 uh, vehicle or the uh, previous design. The rear of that transmission then just simply grafts onto the, the R32 um, transfer case. It's going to be quite a simple install and be, be very good. At Albans here we've been, uh, because we've had such a good deal of network in America, we're, we didn't advertise a lot. So a lot of the products are flying under the radar. We do a lot with the Subaru, like the early five-speed WRX box. We, we transition that into the six-speed box by Synchromesh, Dog Change. We've got the, the full range of Evo product from one to three, four to nine, the Evo 10 box. Um, the R35 product, we're heavily involved in the development of the R35 transmission. That's been a great thing for us. Uh, all sorts of things, drive shafts, custom install drive shafts, custom flywheels, bell housings, um, CV joints, billet CV joints, lots and lots of product. The sky's the limit, we can pretty much make anything people require. Okay, it all starts in the design office with the, the preparation of the job cards and things. We have um, sign-offs for every stage of manufacturing. We control that so we've got repeatability in the, in the way we, we produce components. Then when the components are finished, they all end up here in the um, inspection department. Now we've got, um, as you can see behind me, we've got a um, CMM measuring machine over to the right is a TTI measuring machine which we use to measure um, gear tooth profiles down to microns, hundreds of, hundreds of a millimetre, very accurate. And many, many years ago we invested heavily in the equipment to cut our own crown wheel and pinion sets. We felt that was very important for the business as we, as we move forward. They've been selling well through our dealer networks all around the world. 
Um, another very vital part of the business. Recently we invested again very heavily in equipment to, to profile grind gear teeth after heat treatment. Um, majority of other manufacturers they simply hob the gear teeth, they get heat treated. Um, what distortion you end up with after heat treat is basically what you have to live with. With the profile grinding we have the ability to, to grind those teeth after heat treatment and the, we get a, you know, a perfect gear profile every time. Yeah, what we'll do, we'll, we'll continue to develop the, the V8 style offshoot transmissions. We'll just keep using that modular system, you know, re, repackaging it, adapting into other vehicles with, with various engine combinations. The R35 product's obviously very important to us there. We want to continue to develop that product. Um, we're working towards some military and aerospace um, work that we've introduced Australian standards, things like that, very important to the company. So we're just going to keep going. The future's very bright. We've got a great deal of distribution network here in America especially. Um, so now look, things are looking really great for, for Albans.